is a major milestone for East Pennsboro football, Jared. Yeah, that's right. They celebrated 100 years of high school football, an incredible achievement that means so much to this program. This year, they got to continue that tradition, celebrating 1,000 high school football games as the unbeaten Panthers welcomed in Gettysburg. Up big in the second half, Keith Oates dropping a dime to Brecken Swope for the big game to set the Panthers up in the red zone. And the Panthers dial up a fun one here. Oates looking for the Swope on the shovel. Gettysburg all over it. He pump fakes it, then tosses it to Swope. He dives in for the score. Panthers up 42-10. Gettysburg can't find answers for this East Penn defensive line. Amar Lombard gets home for the sack. Gettysburg does find the end zone again, though. Brady Heiser with a nice toss to Logan Baker. Who high points it in the end zone, but it was too little too late. East Pennsboro rolls in their 1,000th football game, 42-24. And that score indicating it was a little closer than it really was. We're going to welcome in head coach John Dennison of the Panthers. Coach, uh, first off, I just want to say congratulations on the win. And really, uh, how do you feel about this game tonight, knowing that this group really, I feel like, probably put together one of the more complete games that you guys have seen this season? Yeah, thanks, Jared. Thanks for having us out tonight. Um, really good. We, we competed really well in all phases of the game tonight. Uh, offense was really, really good. Defense was good. Special teams were solid. Uh, it was a special night for, for, you, for us, as you know. It was our 1,000th game, so it was really good uh, to come out and play that way. Coach, we got the chance to speak last year about what it means to hit 100 years of football, and then you guys get to kind of celebrate a little bit more with 1,000. You see the balloons in the stands, the, the fans showing up. It's all, all fantastic. Uh, so, some nights it feels like, you know, we're running through 1,000 games here, but how can you really put in perspective with this group, with this program, what that means to have that kind of tradition? It, it's significant. <clears throat> we talked a lot about it yesterday, about, you know, trying to picture that in 1923, there were coaches and there were players uh, who were coming to practice, you know, playing on the same fields, running around the same streets, growing up you know, similarly to the way our boys grow up today. Um, but it's hard to fathom it, honestly, you know, going back 100 years or so. But the, uh, the community involvement and support is just unbelievable. Um, we had a lot of alumni back tonight. Um, you know, you see some gray. I've got some gray. And uh, it, it just really drives home that we've been playing football here a long time. Coach, with a win like this one against Gettysburg, like I said, the score almost wasn't indicative of really how well you guys played in all phases here. Is this maybe kind of a springboard to get these guys rolling, knowing that there's probably something greater ahead for the Panthers this season? I think so. Um, you know, we started the, first, started the season with the first three games on the road. Um, we had some ups and downs through those three games. We were lucky enough to come out 3-0. and uh, Tonight, the kids were really excited. Uh, the energy was significant. And so you do hope this can springboard. Gettysburg's a real high-quality team. There's a lot of weapons out there. Uh, they're very physical. So I think this was a good result for us. Hey, Coach, thank you so much. Congratulations on the win, and let's hope for a 1,000 more for East Pennsboro, right. right? Absolutely. Thank you, Jared. Ali, as we mentioned, uh, just a ter ter terrific tradition they have there. 1,000 football games. Uh, you know, I actually didn't ask Coach uh, what that record might be. I, I wonder oh. if they'd have to go back and see what the total record is for the program. Uh, but listen, if John, Janis if John Dennison's leading the charge, my guess is they're probably going to have more W's than else. Well, and I will tell you, Bill Purnell, their stats guy, has a media guide as thick as a phone book. He has all of the records, I believe. So, uh, Bill, you're getting an email from us in a couple minutes here. Uh, 